crest of the resistance. This is Terminator Resistance. We're here on Xbox Series X taking a look at the current gen update that has been made available to the game. It's been a long awaited and desired sort of thing considering the competing platform was able to get this a long time ago. But here we are finally enjoying what this has to offer for the Series X under the banner of the complete edition. So what are we getting here? It's a 4K resolution, 60 FPS. There is a FOV slider option that you can change if you want to adjust the FOV. And the loading is a lot faster. There's the FOV settings, and there's a bunch of gameplay adjustments if you'd like to make those on that side. So with this, we're getting a new version of the game, I guess. I had to create a brand new game like my original save or whatever was not there so be prepared for that now apparently achievements are supposed to like there's supposed to be a new achievement list but uh, I did have my past progression is still present there oh the terminators are shooting me what are we going to do so part of the cool complete edition or whatever is this infiltration mode starring uh, basically, I guess, the iconic Kyle Reese, or, well, narrative, uh, narration, everything like that, done, starring that character, and the infiltrator mode, uh, so, okay, let's break this down. Annihilation line narrative expansion is with Kyle Reese, and then there's an infiltrator mode where players get the chance to play as the iconic T-800 series. You know, that's a Terminator. So, pretty cool, right? Yeah, definitely interesting. I thought it made sense to showcase the well, you know, single player regular experience, because that's what I'm assuming most people are going to be playing when they go to take a look at this. And to me, that made the most sense. So we might do something with the infiltrator mode later on. That mode is meant to be played like a 45 minute straight sort of run. So I thought this was kind of an interesting kind of way to showcase the game. I do wish I had a little bit of a later save going on, but we could talk about it and go from there. So this is an update to an experience that, uh, you know, really kind of needed this sort of thing just because you were seeing, you know, kind of other competing platforms again having it and then kind of just missing out on this side. So this is, you know, a bit of a, I want to say it is a bit of an indie-like effort to a degree. It's actually not bad from a... Terminator fan perspective. I mean, there's not really too many great Terminator-like games, and it's a bit rough around the edges, and I don't know if it's necessarily the best sort of things. I was kind of like, yeah, this is so-so to me, but I know a lot of people really like this, and, you know, honestly, like, this is a nice upgrade to the experience we had in the past. Like, it is much, much better now that we've got a better level of performance going on and it just it looks a lot better like honestly it is quite a big visual upgrade so it's sort of like a bit of a open world to a degree it's like a semi kind of open world sort of setup where you are kind of with this group of survivors trying to figure out where this big resistance situation is going down and you're trying to, well, gather resources, gather supplies, and also deal with varying levels of enemies and that along the way. It's definitely got some interesting aspects to it, some mature spots, which were a little awkward if you've ever seen those videos online, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like, it's a, it's a neat perspective. Because we're kind of like seeing this new like perspective that we don't typically get to. If that makes sense, like we're playing as sort of a regular dude in the middle of the Terminator universe. You know, it's always like, oh, there's the, you know, the usual Terminator, that's our pal, and, you know, we've got some sort of iconic character that we're playing with and working together. This is, you're, you're like a regular dude, right? Where's the rest of the resistance? Which is really quite intriguing. And you get to use some cool weapons, and you get to go against some of the, uh... So it's just you, then. The more iconic, uh... I guess you would say, you know, Terminator models. 
whether that's aerial or large bots or you know, all kinds of stuff. And it's just nice that we're actually getting something that looks, again, visually, I think, quite a bit better and just runs a lot smoother, which is awesome. And as you can tell, they're really trying to do like a bridge of like gameplay and cinematic elements. And I'd say that now the gameplay and cinematic elements actually are a lot closer. I just wish they would really smooth out those transitions, but you know, not a bad effort at all. Although I'm not sure you'd really get too far in a uh, universe that's quite like this, would you? Wow, that thing is terrifying. <laughs> they really, uh, they try to showcase things quite well. And there's like some stealth sequences, and like there's actually quite a lot going on in this. Like it is actually like a decent package in that regard. And I would say this version of the game is definitely a lot more interesting to me. And I think for a lot of players, this is going to be a nice little spot for them to kind of, you know, for people to jump in and give this one a whirl for the first time. Like this is a lot more impressive. It's also interesting because, you know, the company does have a, a new title coming up on the horizon, and I think they're trying to get a little bit more, uh, you know, community goodwill going by doing this sort of thing, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let's get out of here. Hey, you're missing out on all this fun I'm having. Is anyone going to give me a fucking hand? Maybe if you give me a gun. Although I don't think it'd be fun fighting all these robots. Why am I sliding like this? <laughs> That's very weird. But yeah, you know, they do really kind of capture that sort of throwback era aesthetic of like robots and stuff and the sparks and the crazy over the top kind of visuals and aesthetic. I, I think they do nail that spot. Some of the voice acting, you know, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I think they actually kind of really did something intriguing. Like, it's a license that we haven't really seen taken advantage of much in gaming. Like, we used to get some movie tie-in games, but, you know, those weren't anything crazily special. So this one actually is, like, a little bit of a... I will say a little bit of a labor of love in regards to trying to capture that universe, and I can see where a lot of, you know, Terminator fans kind of appreciate that sort of thing. I totally understand, right? I totally get it. So, I do appreciate that aspect of it. I also do appreciate the fact that they even bothered spending the time to go and actually give us this update, because I had assumed that we just worked. And again, way faster loading. <laughs> Way, way quicker. Like, seriously, that's just super speedy getting into that. So this is where I was talking about where we got, like, a group of survivors, and then there's an aspect of, like, a bit of travel. That's how you get to new places and stuff, and the characters you meet, and... Yeah. It's definitely intriguing. And I think the character models actually look a lot better than this upgrade, too. I just remember this being, like, so rough around the edges when it launched, and I was kind of like, ugh. I don't know if I've got more of an appreciative angle now, or whatever it is, but it's just kind of like, yeah, nice touch-up. And it is aggressive for the film grain, so like I said, you could kind of adjust that under the FOV settings if you wanted to get rid of the film grain, but it does add a little bit of a filmic-like uh, sort of, you know, aesthetic. Nope. Yeah, surprise being in a vehicle were not easy pickings for the uh, the Terminators just to go blast us, right? It's where we get our base of operations. And this is when things really start to open up. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for Team I see the bad company Aaron, smiley face. You do what you think is best for Mark. I see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Sure, I'll risk my life. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. So you do make some choice elements. They were kind of mentioning that earlier when we were chatting. But yeah, this this is much much improved. And this is our home. 
This is where everything kind of comes together. But you had one job today and you dropped the fucking ball. I don't have to listen to these. Oh yeah, and they, they swear a lot too. And all kinds of language and all that. As I said, it is a bit of a mature angle they were going for with this one. It's locked. Easy lock picking. Well, if only I had a lock pick. Find the scraps. Okay, there we go. We got this going. Now we gotta learn how to craft stuff. That'll work. Whoa, look how easy that was. Oh <gasps> guns! Although I don't know how regular bullets really would do much against like terminators that are made of metal. I guess if you shoot them enough, it should break down. Oh, did I startle you? You know what? Since we're stuck here... Blah, blah, you blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm just trying to get to more of the action. You know what I'm talking about? I gotta blast some stuff. Although I do think the opening of the game is pretty cool, too, in regards to being like, oh, crazy Terminators, violence, craziness, you know? It sets the scene pretty well. Hey. Thanks for earlier. No problem, Jennifer. If it wasn't for you, Patrick's... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. What about your father? He protected us when I looked back. Were there any... They were trying... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to go and get it done. Seems the okay. action that might take a couple days. There's a lot of... Uh, but you... Now we get to go and adventure. And this is when stuff starts getting crazy, the warehouse district. And like I say, the loading improvements, again, top notch. Yeah, 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 the weapon wheel. River's over. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin can so far. So this is where it's like the semi-open environments where you're able to actually kind of like look around and do stuff. Side objectives, main missions, things like that. We're just talking over the radio, couldn't the uh, Terminators just clue in on that? Aim at its red eye. You'll see it. It glows like a fucking beacon. Don't you think I know that? The way you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get. I can see a crack in that warehouse hmm. wall from here. Use explosives to get yourself inside. Find some other way. I don't care. I actually have another lockpick. That's funny. Doesn't think we'd have that. But you can see, sort of your open world kind of thing. It's strangely, and not for the best of reasons, kind of reminds me a little bit of Homefront the Revolution. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, that was a, uh, a fascinating game by itself. Mouse space for trade? No, I got it. Okay. An attack order signed by Commander Baron. It means we were too late. To oh come on! Are you there? Yeah. Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever. Oh wow, that's, that's some toys. Locked from the other side. If only there was like a sneaky way we could get inside. We go through the vent, obviously. Yeah, I mean, this is very, very obvious. They don't hide things intensely. Although I do wish we had a bit of a flashlight kind of thing going on. Okay, now what is the easiest way out? Oh, crafting table. Can I make anything else? Not really. Crap. 
creepy little dolls. Oh, this would be the way to get out of here really easily. I'm assuming it's gonna make me walk around a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Which is fine. It's a good safe house, though. Lots of good stuff in here. Just go back the way I came, I guess. Oh, and they hit some of the musical cues pretty well, too, with the robots and stuff. You know, the Terminators. Like, you do actually get, like, a little bit of freedom, like, you can go visit these different places. It's a neat concept, what they were doing with this. It, it was. It was actually a neat idea. I think I'm being attacked by a robot that's trying to kill me. Hmm. This kind of has plasma storage. Got a bad feeling about this. I wasn't detected. Hey, fuck it. I saw some movement in the back. Hmm. Resistance? Nah, it looks like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. And it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all those resources? Shit. I might even give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking. Scary Terminators. Yeah, it means everybody's dead. Because the Terminators always win. Because they're like machines that just keep like literally self producing, and you could never keep up with that as a society. Because we can't produce as fast as they can. I guess their only issue would be like mining resources. Hmm. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Oh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit. We gotta head back and help him out. For humanity. Yeah, good sense of scale, I guess. Don't worry, they're just a bunch of robots. If they wanted to kill me, they'd work on their accuracy. These like health packs grow on trees. Actually, do we have our skill tree? Yeah, don't uh, don't forget to do your skills. I guess I could have hit the explosive barrel, that would have got it done. Got these health packs like I have an unlimited quantity of them. Got a bad feeling about this. A real bad feeling. Where are you? Can you hear me? 